everybody. Welcome to Adam Lee Henderson, the YouTube channel. So today I have a special one for you. I'm so excited about this opportunity. Um, when I started my YouTube channel, I asked this individual, this lovely, 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 wonderful woman of, of the Most High God to collaborate with me. I wanted to learn how to bake, do something great, because I'm not that good of a cook as I think. However, we're gonna see what we can come out with today. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Leave a comment, let me know how you're feeling. One thing about me that you are going to find out is that I have a sweet tooth. I love sweets and I get that from my dad. Donald Henderson, if you're watching, love you. So I can't let this channel go by without introducing a good friend, somebody that I admire, somebody that I love, just an awesome woman of God, somebody who has always been there for everybody. Please welcome to the platform, to the Adam Lee Henderson YouTube channel, Miss Erica Denise Wade of Sweet Creation. Hi, Adam. Oh, Adam. so great. Thank you so much for doing this with me. It you are the bomb. So, Erica, I am so, so grateful that you uh, have decided to um, teach me how to bake. Oh, I'm excited to now, teach you. You know I have a sweet tooth. Yeah, you do. Because I've, I've utilized her service. She has an amazing business. Um, it's Sweet Creations, correct? Yes. And um, I've gotten a lot of items from you. But today, I asked you to teach me something that I could take home. What are we going to cook today? We are making strawberry cheesecake bowls, which is an item that I just dropped about a week ago and has been selling like crazy. Well, has your business been affected, first of all, by the pandemic? Um, honestly, it has not. I wanted to close down for this pandemic. Yeah. But my customers will not allow me. Seriously? Like, did um, you actually close down and say, you know I what? I did. I put up a sign on all my social medias and said, hey, y'all, for the rest no. of this pandemic, um, the creation I, I, I think I saw that. I think I saw that. And I you, got so many, no, you lied. You reneged on that. Why did you do that? <laughs> because everyone kept saying, Erica, look, I know you're making something. Like, you in the house, you always cooking. Like, what are you making? Can you please make me something? So I was like, okay, let me do a sale. Sure. Just for the one time, sure. and that sale ended up turning up to me just continually to bake after that. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I think my favorite dessert would have to be that Oreo jar that you made. The Oreo, the Oreo, cheesecake, Oreo jar. cheesecake jar. Look, when I tell you, it is the best one. And I ordered three bottles. I won't play them. Who got time to play? Not a one. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do first? Okay. So one, what we're the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our crumble. You're so nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. I promise. Don't be nervous. This is probably the easiest part. No, it's in my head, in my mind. I, I really believe that I'm a great cook. <laughs> when people ask me, "Are you a good cook?" I'm like, "Yeah," but I'm all, my wife is telling me, like, "You always make a mess. I'm always burning something." But in my head, I'm just like Chef Boyardee. <laughs> I do the shortcut way. Now, there are millions of ways to make mm -hmm. strawberry crumble. You can use Oreos, which is what I use. Mm -hmm. You can use strawberry gelatin okay. and butter. Okay. Now, the other way to do it is strawberry gelatin, butter, and flour, mm -hmm. and then banana flavor, strawberry gelatin, butter, and flour. Okay. You mix that up with a little bit of water. You put it in the oven, let it get hard, and crumble it up. But thankfully for us, I've already cut this whole process out of the way and already made some. Right. So we don't have to worry about All the right. back. Bless the Lord. Yes, this is pre made. Oh, that and looks it looks good. like this. Yeah. Like, so that. like that. It's very easy. Um, you can actually take this and leave this out, and it gets hard like within the first five minutes oh, wow. like of making it. It will get hard. That's what we're gonna do. That's how that works. Okay. White chocolate for your mold. Okay. For the outside. I use almond bark. The best tasting chocolate probably I've ever tasted. Really? What do you get that very from? Very inexpensive from Walmart. Okay. It's very inexpensive. It comes in a big bar mm. and it melts to perfection. Mm. You're gonna sit this in the microwave for 30 seconds each. After every 30 seconds, you you're have gonna to stir. Check it and stir. Okay. And the key to that is coconut oil. The key That's to that is kind of kind of light milky. and froth. It mm. does. It's not hard. You don't want your chocolate to be hard at all. Okay. 
Mm. You want it to be like a night light consistency so that it gets all around the bowls. Gotcha. And you, we're gonna need bowls, right? Absolutely. I use the waffle cone bowls. These are very inexpensive. They're like a dollar and 64 cents at Walmart. Uh -huh. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get good taste. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. And it comes 10 in a pack. Yeah. So how many are we making today? We're going to make four because four. these are for you and First Lady Henderson. Ah, got a gift for you, baby. It's coming. What really got you into baking in the first place? Like, was that something that you always did or did you kind of learn that, that trait and just maximize it? Well, I actually learned of cooking at a very young age. My grandmother taught me how to cook at seven years old. She had me in the kitchen with her cooking. Um, rest in peace to my grandmother, Louise oh, Mitchell Cox. I do everything Louise. in memory of her. Oh. She was my, my everything. Yeah. She really taught me how to make homemade biscuits. She was my go-to person. Yeah, awesome. So it stopped in like 30 seconds, so that means we gotta stir it and put Okay, that in. so it's not all of that. So yeah, we're gonna do it for another 30 seconds. I normally don't really chop it up, but you can just to get the feel. You want it similar to like this. Mine probably don't ever come out like this. Mine's been looking terrible. I don't know how, look at that. That looks good so far. Wow. See, that is a good consistency. You know, I've never used it. I can see the, I can see the difference. This is dope. And then to make it a little bit more lighter, we're going to put a little bit of this coconut oil in it. That's, that's all? Yep. And you mix it around to get it nice and light. Why so little? You don't want to put a too much? A little goes a long way. <laughs> Love me some, Erica a Denise. This little goes a long way. This is good for some of everything. Most, a lot of people use this for moisture. Okay. Like you can put this on your hands. That's how well, I, I don't eat with coconut oil. I always use it for my, my skin. Yeah, but you'd be surprised at what's in your, what's in your food with that good old coconut oil. Oh, true. So then the true. next thing that we're, we have to make, you can't make a cheesecake bowl without cheesecake. Oh, yeah. So I have That's the so good. That's so Look at this. It's so cute, right? You that adorable. I have the Walmart brand of the cheesecake. Do you mind opening it? Mm -hmm. This made the coconut oil melt. And once it makes it melt, it's that much easier for you to mix it in. Oh my god, it's perfect. And you want your chocolate to do just that. And yo, that's so dope. You want it to do just like that. When I'm it learning. does that, you know you got the right consistency. I'm learning, mama. <laughs> so I can imagine like for like holidays and stuff, you always, at this point, you probably like the go-to cook. I so am. You know cook everything, right? I am. My family are always, matter of fact. You ever get tired of it before? When it's something that you love, and it's something that you're passionate about, you never get tired of it. Uh, I agree with that. And I, I can honestly that. say, like, I enjoy working my nine to five, but being here in this kitchen in my element That's makes me is. so happy. I, like, I this, this, is, this is me. Absolutely. Now, here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. I don't measure. All because Are I've you, been doing you, this for a long time. You cook from the fit, right? Listen. <laughs> Oh, because I've been doing this for a really long time, but because I got you, brother. Look, Adam. true cooks don't use instructions <laughs> or measure anything. They just automatically know. My mom taught me that. I remember my mom never used instructions. She would just, just be throwing stuff in there and it exactly turned out perfectly. Well, maybe because I have 100% been doing this for a really long time. So it's like you have a so sense of confidence. It's second nature to Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. But for you, we're going to use this. We're going to put one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Again, this is the cheap brand. And it does wonders. Cheap I'm, I'm telling you. So we're going to put a, tea, a tablespoon of that in there. We're going to get our cornstarch. Okay. And we're going to put a half a Ooh, teaspoon. Yeah. 
We're gonna put a half a teaspoon of cornstarch in, so that's that. Now we're gonna use Heavy Whip, and I use the Walmart brand. As y'all gonna, y'all gonna figure it out. Walmart is my favorite store. Shout out to Walmart. If you sponsor me. It ain't better than Target. Walmart all day. I know. <laughs> sponsor me, Walmart. <laughs> I'm in your store every day. Watch the video. <laughs> Okay, now with this, I just pour because you're gonna need it. I pour about that much. How much would that be like? Two so that's teaspoons? probably like probably teaspoons and a half, two teaspoons and a half. Mm -hmm. Thereafter that, we're gonna go heavy. Heavy on the sugar. On the sh sugar is already. All right, now we here. We cooking now. <laughs> Sugar is where it's at. We're gonna go heavy on the sugar, and it's gonna be about almost a so would you cup like? and a half. A cup and a half. Okay. So this is gonna be about a cup and a half. And notice, I, I just you might not be able to see it. She's not using any measuring tools. She's just doing it. Just doing it. That's how. You just. But look at that so far. You I just see. do it. When you mix all this up, oh. Geez. Oh, it's gonna be love in your mouth. It's gonna be amazing. You can't. Be, Forget one real, real important ingredient. What's that? It's eggs. Yes, eggs. You only need an egg or two. You know. Chicken eggs come from off of my sister's chicken farm. For real? Yes. I just got yeah, these. These are natural. They're these are natural store. eggs. These came from my now, sister's yes, chicken farm. Organic is better. All right. So that's basically all you want. Because this crumble and stuff is, it's, it can get messy. I'm sure. But I use my hands because I like it down to the nitty gritty. So the easiest way I do these bowls is I take and I push it in the chocolate. I swirl it around so that it gets an even coat. If you want to, you can put it in the inside. I let it. Do this, get the access on. Mm -hmm. I'll sweep it across there like that. The further you get the access on, just a little bit, not a lot. Flip it over, like so. Like that. And add. Add your crumble. Oh, you add your crumble. And I just keep going until it's till at least enough of the chocolate is covered. I to my it. liking. I love it. And don't be afraid to pick this up. Be very gentle because these bowls, they are very fragile. So too much pressure will cause them to... to break. And that would be my love to do that because I do that all the time. Because he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, production. Don't be scared. You got to pack won't. it on there. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty. I know I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. Don't be scared, I promise you. Just like pack it as if you're like, there you go, yeah. Oh, like, like that. Yeah, just <laughs> like that. Oh my God. Like, what has it been like to start your business? Like how do you feel Ooh. in this point of your life? 
You have your own business. What's that like? It's overwhelming. It's exciting. It's nervousness. I'm sure. It's a lot of nervousness because you have a lot of people out here that do what you do, mm -hmm. but they don't exactly do what you do, if that makes sense. No, of course. Like, of course. everyone has their own way of doing things. Like me, I always find new ways to come up with different desserts, mm -hmm. you know, constantly, you know, perfecting my craft. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go to school for this. This, That's this, amazing. this is natural talent that, honestly, God gave me. Because I couldn't have did this on my own. I, I take nothing to credit for it. That's awesome. And then you have to fill your bubbles up. All right, so what we got to do now? So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to put your filling in, which is going to be your cheap cake filling. Okay. And you can add one scoop, two scoops, three scoops, however you, how many other scoops you want to put in there to okay. fill your bowl up. Do I just pour it in there or should I just scoop FYI, it? FYI, these are real life cones. They are meant to go into the freezer. So you can freeze your cheesecake. So that and enough? that's good. That's real perfect. So that was like four scoops, y'all. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do, okay. we're gonna put our whip on it. Here. So you just take a nice little coating and you just smooth. You just smooth it all across. So See, that this way is, this is a sweet creation professional. I don't know how to do all that. Look how precise she is. This is the next and last important thing to do. You're going to want to get four strawberries or how many other bowls you plan on doing. Give it a good old swirl around. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Drop it in the middle. Oh my God. That, that is fantastic. I can't hold oh, my turn. It is. Okay. Give it a nice old little swirl. You see that? Like that? That's it. You want to make sure it's covered in the glaze. You see that it sinks? And then drop it in. Drop it right on in the middle. A strawberry cheesecake bowl. Strawberry cheesecake bowl. Look at that, y'all. All edible going into my belly. Guys, we let it sit in the freezer for about 20 minutes. And here is the final product and we are going to try it for the first time i am ecstatic i am oh i can't wait wait let me get i want to get everything ready mm. Someone call 911, please. When I say, you you know when you taste something so good, you can like feel it in your jaw, your, your jaw lock up a little bit? That's, that's the taste. Hey, this is great. Yo, this is amazing. Oh, thank you. Really? You pick it up and bite it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm being too bougie? No, yes, you are. You pick it up and bite it. Like this? Oh my god. Oh. Marvin. That's it, right? It's a party in your mouth, right? Oh. Because I was going to eat the waffle for last. Uh. The waffle bowl. Erica, I want to thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for joining my listen. Look her up. Erica Denise Way on YouTube. Subscribe to her channel. Go to her Facebook page, her Instagram. Sweet Creations. Instagram is Sweet Creations. Look her up. What is it? With the K. With the K. K. And the S Z at the end. She's amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being on my You're show. You're welcome. I'm Thank so you so glad. much. Y'all, hug someone, love someone, kiss them, tell them you care, tell them you love them. Because you know what? That might be the only time they hear it. Yeah. I love you. Y'all, tune in next week. Got more vlogs for you. All right? Love you guys. Bye. Peace.